Hey my gods and goddesses and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about memory versus insight. This is a topic that I've been wanting to talk about because I had this conversation with my boyfriend the other day about people who have memory from reading books and reading different articles and different things and then they have this memory versus people who just have insight and for me I'm one of those people who just gets this insight like I know things just intuitively and not from literally like just reading a book or uh, reading an article or something like that is this you are you a person that more works off of memory or are you a person that more works off of insight I'm gonna be diving into the differences in this video, so if you're interested, keep watching. So we're gonna do a compare and contrast of memory versus insight. Memory usually is drawn from your experience. So if you experience something in your memory, you're gonna go back to a place that feels familiar, or you may learn a lesson from this experience and then you know what to do moving forward. Or you can have an experience where you worked in a kitchen, so you have that memory of what to do, how to properly run a kitchen, whether that be dishwashing, whether that be um, prep, whether that be salad bar, whether that be the, the grill. So you know the different places. Like for me, I worked in a restaurant and I was a waitress. So my first waitressing job off of memory because this is something that I had to experience, I had to learn everything about waitressing, um, how to go to my customers, things that I did not pay attention to when I was a customer. So I had to learn that. And I took that experience from memory and I created a whole hookah service and I drew from that experience to know how I wanted to structure that business. So that's one way that memory and our experiences can coincide. Now on the other hand we have intuition, we have insight. This is more of that gut feeling. These are just the little things that you feel on the inside that tells you whether something is right or wrong, what direction you should go in. <laughs> the bird is moving. What direction you should go in next. Um, what decisions you should be making, whether you should leave a job, whether you should stay at a job, whether you should be around a certain person. So our insight tells us those things, that gut feeling that we feel on the inside. Then there's memory. Memory can be learned from reading, from, like I mentioned before, an article or something like that. This is how we get this memory or this knowledge of certain things. When it comes down to insight, these are things that we know without knowing. It just comes to us. And we know that this is truth because our gut, our feelings on the inside let us know like this is truth. And if we were to research it, it'll be facts. I'm all in their comfort zone, but it's okay. I'm out here in the park. We're getting this video done. Yeah. One way we can receive insight is through meditation. So meditation is a great way to quiet your mind so that you can receive divine insight from the universe. People who are like memory based and they just strongly believe in knowledge and reading, these people can be naive to life because they haven't experienced something. And because of the lack of experience, they may be naive. When it comes down to insight, you believe in your divine guidance and intuition. So when it comes down to memory, our brains remember certain patterns. That's just how our brain reacts. Memory can be stifling. It can keep us in a place that we can't grow from. 
because we haven't experienced it. We don't have that memory or we don't have that experience. So we feel like we can't do certain things or that thing doesn't exist. So memory can be stifling. Our brains recognize patterns and learned behavior. This may inhibit our growth because we aren't open to things that we haven't experienced. When it comes down to insight, you have to be open-minded because these are just gut feelings or things that may come in your mind and you'd be like, oh, should I be doing this right now or no? Once you trust that insight or gut feeling, you have to be open to just so much more. Memory can be tricky and misleading. Sometimes our memory can be false. Sometimes our memory can be planted. We can see things and think that they're true when they can be all false. Insight is the truth, whether that be the truth for you or the truth for the individual that is experiencing it. And you may not fully agree because maybe you're acting out of memory or just your experience, then we should know how to differentiate between the two and have a balance between the two. I strongly believe in that balance of having uh, books and knowledge and learning from your experiences, but also being connected to that divine intuition and that gut feeling and that insight that you feel. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please, please, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Share this video with a friend and I will see you guys next week. Look forward to seeing you then. And remember, change starts in your, in your mind. You change your mind and you change your whole life. Thank you so much for watching.